Trey McBride made it to Indianapolis for the NFL Scouting Combine, 1,087 miles away from where it all began in Fort Morgan, Colorado. Just a blue collar place where a lot of guys just, you know, you put your head down, work hard and, and good things will happen. You know, being from Fort Morgan, small little farm town I'm from, uh, you know, it's always just been a goal to go and play college. And when I got there, I just wanted to get on the field and help my team in any possible way. In high school, McBride was a beast, and not only in football. He stood out in every court or field that he played on. And he swings and drives. They made the number 13 a lucky one for him in Fort Morgan, and he will be wearing that same number 13 here at the Combine this week. You know, I was number 13 in high school, a very cool opportunity that I got uh, 13 here at the, at the Combine. So very cool and, and something, uh, you know, very unique and, and very lucky in that aspect. At CSU, McBride produced a career that no other Ram has been able to duplicate in 115 seasons of the sport. A unanimous All-American and Mackey Award winner has put Trey in the limelight with the national media at the Combine. You know, it's a dream come true, really, um, something that you dream of your whole life, and, and just to be the first guy taken would be uh, an unbelievable honor and something that I'm I, uh, continually working to, to try to achieve that goal. Sure, Fort Morgan is a growing farm town, but it still has less than 12,000 people, and it's about to produce its third NFL starter. First it was Joel Dreesen, then Ryan Jensen, and soon it will be tight end Trey McBride. We all need to start drinking that Fort Morgan water. From Indianapolis, Mike Kliss, 9 News.